Ahoy Rum Explorers! I'm Nia, I'm a rum enthusiast, and it is rum time! So today I'm bringing you the first of hopefully many rum offs. So we're going back to the Isles of Fiji. So we're going to revisit the Isle of Fiji double barrel rum um, that I tried with Phil. And today I'm bringing you a special collector's bottle for comparison's sake. Same um, plantation, same distillery rum co of Fiji, but this one has a very unique distillation process and unique maturation process so I'm very excited to try this and compare. I always like seeing if it's worth the upgrade and paying the extra money. We all work super hard for everything we make so sometimes I like splurging but making sure it's worth the splurge. Okay so this being a rum off we're gonna go over the characteristics of each bottle. So the basic Isle of Fiji was aged three years in tropical Fiji and then brought over to France and aged one year in ex-cognac barrels. They don't say which kind of cognac barrels, so it'll be interesting to see the flavors. Regarding the price, this one is between $30 to $40. The notes when I originally tried this it was very tropical, it was an amazing rum, as you can see it's almost done. Um, but it was very very easy, as far as the dosage, it's 16 grams on this one. Now going on to this one. Very special single cask rum, it was distilled in 2009. They do age it in ex bourbon cask for 8.5 years and then bring it over to France. So it has an additional two years of continental aging and Ferrand cask, which are ex-cognac, but Ferrand is the brand in France. They also do an additional six month maturation in Kil Kilkaman peated whiskey cask, which I thought was very interesting. So I wonder if I'll have like a, a peaty finish or what people technically call like the feeling of pop rocks at the end of my tongue. The dosage in this one um, is two grams. So there's a significant difference in years and dosage. So it'll be interesting to see. So let's go ahead and pop this bad boy. This looks like a real cork. And so does this one. The difference is the top is wood and on this one is plastic. As far as the coloring, they look like a... This one looks a smidge darker, not by much. Um, it's like a little bit deeper, like they kind of look like... This one looks like a Chardonnay is what I would say. And this one just looks like a deeper, like a deeper Chardonnay. So I'm going to agitate the rum a little just to, you know, bring those flavors up and the notes and see what I can detect. As far as the legs, I'm getting this beautiful, very small, small beating. So the legs are quite long. This one is definitely running a little bit faster. Obviously the aging process is quite different. I'm still getting that same, the same notes of um, raisins, banana, tropical notes. And let's see this one. Wow. Considerably different. Um, I'd say maybe a little bit of toffee. And some amazing smokiness in there. So the Kilkaman. Uh, whiskey casts are from Scotland, from Isla, so it'll be interesting to see what notes that brings. But there's a significant difference here, which is very, very unique. The notes here is definitely, I'm getting like whiskey or a little bit of whiskey. So as far as the percentage, they're a little bit, this one's a little bit higher. This one is 49.6. 
and this one is 40 cleansing my palette with some mananalu water which is the first fully recyclable water bottle make sure you grab these they're so good for the environment please remember that we cannot recycle plastic bottles okay so as far as the traditional Romelia review this is going to be an aged rum type as far as the rum journal as far as the Gargano rum tip classification this is going to be a single blended rum they do use um, column stills and pot stills but this one's a little bit unique it says triple column and pot still so it's triple column this is also aged from molasses and as far as the Royal Rum Society's taste code, I'm going to give this a 4DM. 4 because between dry and sweet, it was kind of a little bit less than sweet um, besides middle ground. And then as far as from bland to flavorful, I gave it a D. It does start sweet and ends quite peaty. Um, which I was kind of expecting, but I expected a longer, sweeter finish um, at the end. But I think it's quite enjoyable. If you like Islay type of whiskeys, I would definitely get this for your collection. I'm very surprised. This is kind of like the perfect marriage between a rum and a whiskey. Um, like a, like a Islay whiskey because it's very, very, it ends very smoky too. Like. I can feel it on the top of my palate. Then as far as the whiskey exchange flavor camps, I'm going to give this a fruity and spicy because at the beginning you do get that fruity sweetness and tropical notes of it, but it does end between the cognac barrels and the whiskey barrels. It does end quite smoky and peaty. I would say as far as on the nose, you do get that whiskey smell, but I kind of get, I want to say like some type of medicine, but not kind of licorice. So I'm going to bring out a couple of things from the Rum Aroma kit just to try out and see, so stay with me. Okay, so as far as the Rum Aroma training kit, I did bring out um, tobacco, I brought out oak tannic, and cask aged I did nail the um, tobacco smoke because you do get a lot of smokiness and then as far as the oak tannic it's it's a very unique smell but I didn't detect that in cask age is very it's a lot weaker than I expected um, but funny story Phil just brought out a little bit of this talisker which is a a whiskey like a peated whiskey to compare and the nose you can tell they both smell like peat like this rum as well but they are very different but the finish is the same so basically I am getting that peatiness from the cast that they use in the last six months for this rum now moment of truth is it worth the extra 20 to 30 dollars I believe it is not only is this bottled once or twice every year these single cast limited edition bottles are very rare to find this rum is probably one of the most unique rums that I've tried in a while like I said it starts sweet and the nose is kind of on the rum side because it is a molasses you get that very nice beginning of a nice sugary I, I even like kind of like detected a little bit of toffee and marzipan which is kind of like a like a dough they made they make a lot of the wedding favors sometimes to their edible but it's that sweetness but not too much a little bit of toffee and buttery like sugar cookies like Christmas sugar cookies this is amazing, but then you get that peatiness at the end. It's like earthy at the back of your palate. It's very, very unique. I have not tried a rum like, 
this ever before so if you do see this I highly recommend if you can splurge the extra 20 or 30 dollars I definitely think it'll be worth it now I do believe that this is not an entry-level rum why because it's quite evolved it's quite unique and even though it's only 49% you do get a little bit of a hug I thought it was going to be a lot a lot higher so if you are entry-level rum enthusiast highly suggest getting this this is extremely extremely smooth obviously the dosage is a little bit higher we're talking the difference between 16 grams and 2 grams but this is very easy to drink it's very smooth it's very sweet not sweet like fake sweet but naturally sweetened from like the tropical aging in Fiji this one is a more evolved rum and it's quite unique because again you do get a lot of that peaty whiskey finish um, from Islay or Isla whatever you want to call it to throw another monkey wrench into this equation we brought out an actual peated whiskey and you could definitely notice that they ha this rum has been aged in those type of casts which is really interesting so if you do like those types of whiskeys even though you want to maybe dabble a little bit in rum highly recommend this bottle for the extra money it is very cool and collectible um, the labeling is quite different from this one but if you're starting your rum journey hey go get yourself a bottle of this one the price point is incredible the flavorings and the notes are very light and smooth barely any hug so um, I'm going to say um, if it's treasure chest approved oh my god this is getting so hard because this bottle is so unique and I feel like I don't want to do it it's so so unique I love the smokiness the smokiness lingers so long in the back of your palate okay maybe we should try one more swig of each just as a little reminder let me cleanse my palate yes I do believe that this is a very unique rum but is it something that I would cherish in my treasure chest I don't know if I'm willing to take out the last bottle if you have not seen that review for uh, Order of the Levitian series 2 I'll put the card up up here but no I don't think it's treasure chest approved but it's a very unique rum and I'm so excited to have this in my collection for those friends of mine that love whiskey and peated whiskeys. This would be amazing rum to bring out and surprise them. So we're here for the review. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not hit that subscribe button, go ahead and hit it so I can welcome you on board. I definitely am excited to bring you more and more collectible bottles. I do believe this is an amazing bottle for your collection. So let me know down below in the comments, would you spend the extra 30 bucks between this and this? What do you think? And I look forward to the next rum, hopefully one that's collectible. Cheers. <laughs>